Hello and welcome back. Um, next video we're going to do is on uh, Lemon Blast. This is Juno. She is the third snake I'm going to focus on out of the collection we have right now, and she is a Lemon Blast. Um, actually, she's about to go into shed right now. Normally, she has some really bright green eyes. As you can see, she's going into blue right now, so her eyes are kind of starting to fade. Not a huge fan myself of handling snakes when they're going into the blue, but she's really calm, really docile. I uh, won't be very long with her, and I'll put her back into her habitat. Uh, what I'd like to do today, and the reason I have her out when she's in the blue right now, is uh, we'll show her coloration, we'll show what she looks like, and then once she actually has her shed, I can show you again to see the difference in coloration between uh, going into shed and then once they actually come out. Uh, with Juno here, as I mentioned, she is a Lemon Blast, or sold to me as a Lemon Blast. She's very bright for a Lemon Blast when she actually comes out of shed. Uh, what a Lemon Blast is, is it's a cross between Pastel and Pinstripe. Pinstripe and Pastel, uh, the co-dominant co genes, basically. Uh, the way the Pinstripe works is it comes down along the top. You can see the very fine markings coming up down along the spine, along the dorsal, and then down towards the sides. And you can see the actual lemon coloration. The nice bright yellows are starting from white, kind of fading to a orangish yellow up to the top right there. Absolutely gorgeous snake, these ones here. Now, when she comes out of shed, she's so bright, I'm half wondering if she's a friggin' uh, super pastel, which would be uh, co-dominant pastel genes. But um, she might just have a very good uh, genetic variety of the pastel. Because within certain genes, there are different ones that are uh, more intense than others. Like you can get uh, certain strains of bamboo that will look better than other strains of bamboo. You can get certain strains of pastel that will look better than other strains of pastel. Same thing with bananas, uh, coral glow, and so on and so on. Um, she's again very very bright she's about to go into shed and she still has some phenomenal colors right now and this is about as dark as she'll ever be absolutely gorgeous and once again uh, she was purchased at the same time that we purchased the uh, other initial snakes uh, last time I checked her weight she's eaten very well she's sitting uh, just under 300 grams if not 300 and um, Eating very well, as I mentioned, very tame, very docile. Uh, she gets handled regularly. Pretty chilled out little snake. These ones here, I, I gotta show you again after she sheds. She's beautiful. You should see the eyes on them once they shed. Just a bright green coloration. Absolutely gorgeous coloration kicking out on her, uh, her eyes. There she is. Just take a minute to look at the coloration on the back there. And once again, this is a Lemon Blast or Pinstripe Pastel. She looks more brown in the camera, but uh, she, she is quite a nice coloration. More of a yellow orange than anything else. You can see it really coming up on the uh, side right there. And the ventral is more of like a, almost like a beigey white, yellowish white coloration. And there she is. And this size right here, she's eating um, weaned mice, or correction, weaned rats. I haven't really, I try to stay away from mice. Uh, sometimes when you start feeding ball pythons, if you get them onto uh, mice and you don't want to switch over to rats right away when they're smaller, apparently they can have issues uh, switching over when they get older, which can make it a huge pain trying to feed larger snakes mice. It takes a lot more to fill them up, obviously. Uh, what's recommended too when you're feeding the snakes is to try to give them food that has a basically like the skull diameter to roughly the same diameter as the body and itself of the snake. Uh, as mentioned, these ones are eaten weaned uh, rats. I do frozen. I have done the odd bit of live, more or less, due to uh, sword who tends to be a little bit picky. And out here to get live, I need to uh, order in groups of four. So I usually just get four, and I'll toss them in with the other ones as well. Uh, she has not had an issue eating live one week and then going right over to frozen again no problems whatsoever uh with any of them the only one again i've had a little bit of issue with was sword but she's still eating i'm trying to get her up a little bit more she's coming along uh her weight is decent she's just not growing at the same rate as the other ones but again they're all individual animals too so some will grow faster than others 
uh, as long as she is eating, she maintains her weight, she's drinking, she's hydrated, um, she's doing well. It's just uh, the other ones seem to be doing a little bit uh, faster growth rate than her. And there she is once again. Before I go, absolutely beautiful Lemon Blast. This is Juno. Actually, before I go, uh, Juno was um, purchased for coloration and for differences. Uh, again, I wanted to get into pie balls, but uh, a variation as well. So if you were to cross this with a uh, Omaha, who's a pie ball with potential het, but again, I'll have to break down uh, if it is heterozygous or not through uh, breeding to prove it. But if I had to breed him to her, uh, it would uh, basically just give me either normal pinstripe or pastel or potentially lemon blast or what have you. There's different variations. I'll mention, once again, I'll probably mention this numerous times as we go along. Uh, if you're curious about different variations, you're curious about different genetic lines, um, check out Morph Market or World of Ball Pythons. Uh, they both have genetic calculators that'll show you what the offspring potential could be uh, with percentages. And uh, they have a good index of different types of ball python. The world of ball pythons is a little better for the index, I find, uh, whereas Morph Market's more of a uh, for sale type of deal. They do have a lot of variations, but uh, Morph Market, or correction, world of ball pythons has an actual glossary where you can type in the type of snake you want to see and bring it up, and there'll be a variation, maybe one or two pictures. Some of them have upwards of 20 or 30 pictures. Because snakes will vary as well. Uh, she's a gorgeous lemon blast. You might see lemon blast out there who potentially will be a little bit brighter than her, slightly different color than her, maybe darker than her. Um, the snakes will vary from snake to snake 100%. Um, like snowflakes, basically, you're not going to get two that are exactly the same. Well, unless you get like solid color ones like blue eyed Lucy's or something like that. All right, so that being said, uh, tomorrow we will go over Omaha. Omaha will be the last of the four to go over for those ones there. Uh, once Juno here goes through her shed, I'll uh, get a video of her so you can see the actual differences. You can compare the pictures from this video to the next one coming up and actually see the differences in her eye coloration as well as her body coloration and uh, go from there. In the meantime, have a great day. Uh, please subscribe, please share the video, and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.